Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. You know, this episode was, um, I don't know. Some of this stuff was filler. Um, Brooke and Liam having the same conversation over and over again about Thomas, his motives. Is he, is he, you know, saying it's, you know, enough to raise a child and, you know, Douglas should be there and he should stay there with Hope and that's his mother. And it, it just, it got to a point where it just started to get ridiculously repetitive. And as I was not there going with my notes, I was, partly I was like, so I even bother to write this down and start just sit there and flip a couple of pages because I'm pretty sure I'm going to find the exact same notes that I wrote in one of my other videos on the show. You know, Brooke, Brooke's what they're talking about. We're under attack. Really, Brooke? You're under attack? What is this war now? You know, the sad part is that I'm, I'm saying this as a joke and I'm saying this like she's over-exaggerating. Makes me wonder. Just how wrong I am to see to even say that. I mean, you got Taylor, you got Steppy between them championing for Douglas to get back his son. Um, for Taylor to sit there and be with Ridge. You know, as over-exaggerated as he sounds, how wrong is she? You know, with Steppy... At the party, taking little opportunities. Oh, I saw you were dad. I saw him say a bunch of lovely compliments and blah, 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 blah. You know, and she hasn't, it's not like she's been shy about it or tame about it. It's like she's been trying to parent trap these two for a hot minute. Okay. She was doing that before she got shot. She started doing that after she got shot. I, I, it's, it's just been going on for. Um, way too long. Now, something interesting happened with Finn and, um, Ridge and Eric. When Brooke, I mean, when Ridge was like, oh, no, because Eric was like, oh, I'm sure your, your wife isn't really too, wasn't too keen on you coming here by yourself. And, you know, Ridge was like, oh, well, I invited her, but she said she didn't want to go. And Finn was like, could you blame her? Like, does he, does he even really want to go? Let's think about that for a minute. You are in a house with, you know, family members that want you to be back together with Taylor. You know, why Why would she want to be there? Why would she want to... And, you know, he was like the same. He was like, you know, I'm, I'm the new guy. But, you know, he, he pointed out something and Ridge was like, oh, well, what are you talking about? Ridge, I swear to... How did you get... <laughs> How did you get to be, like, you know, where you are in life with a brain that seems like it's made out of wood? He just pointed something out of why Brooke really didn't want to go, and you're standing there like, oh, well, she didn't really want to go. You can't be... You can't be this stupid. And, you know, maybe on some sort of level... He knew why. But the fact of the matter is that Finn, a guy who I've been questioning every day his existence since I started watching the show, said something that Rich just kind of stood there and was like, oh, what do you mean that um they, they, they want us they to be back together? Like, how do you know that? Or, or something like that. I was just like, bro, I wonder how do you know how to tie your shoes every damn day? You, you want to explain that? And of course, Taylor was like, oh, I got to make a speech. And then she was like, oh, I love this guy. And I mean, I get that there's two different, there's two different, there's many different type kind of loves. But I know two loves. There's one when you can love someone and there's one when you're in love with someone. And, you know, granted, she can play it off like, oh, you know, I love this guy. But we all in the room know what you mean. Oh, Zende was there. So, just in case I forgot to sit down and say that he was there, he was there. Him and Eric was not there talking about um, Paris and Quinn. And uh, I think that's all they're going to be doing. I mean, obviously with Quinn, but even with Paris. 
you know, the actress that played Quinn was meant to talk about going back to G8, and I was like, oh, I think that's a bad idea. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a good idea to add a bigger mixture in there with um, Ned and, and um, Olivia and Brooklyn being there. I think it's a good mixture. Problem is, there's too many damn people on that show. So, <laughs> anyway, it was Nithya talking about it. Um, towards the end, Finn, I mean, um, towards the end, yeah, Finn and, and Steffi and Taylor. What the? Oh, um, not. <laughs> That kind of threw me off for a minute. I, I got like a text message or whatever. I was like, oh, wait, what's my train of thought again? Um, yeah, it was, it was Steffi, Taylor, and um, Ben. And I guess Taylor was still thinking about Ridge and, you know, just their usual BS or whatever. Um, Hope and, and Taylor, I mean, Hope and Steffi, well, Steffi was actually pretty nice to her for a little bit. Um... She was not like her usual grade eight um, blank that she usually, that she usually acts like. Um, what else? There's a point where you know Zenday makes a comment like, "Oh, you know, how are you doing over here with all these foresters around?" And you know, Hope is like, "No, nah, I'm, I'm good. I can hold my own." And there's a couple of times where Thomas is sitting there trying to include her and. You know, kind of remind her and other, you know, the other people around them that, you know, she's part of this family too. She is Douglas' mother that is not going to change. It's not like she's some sort of outsider. And I appreciate that because let's be honest, Steffi yesterday was like, oh yeah, Thomas warned us about you coming here. Like, what? There's a couple of times that Taylor, while she may sit there and try to do that whole nice, sanctimonious crap. We all know that, you know, Taylor was like, oh, what you doing here? You know, she she had that same energy. Or maybe she's picking up on Steffi and she's giving that same energy to Hope. And of course, Hope was like, oh, you know, everything's good. I just want things to just kind of go back to the way it was or be the same. And I'm like, oh, let's, let's just enjoy the party. Let's just enjoy the party. Now, Douglas did come in um, towards the end. And he was talking about some sort of project he was doing with um, Steffi's daughter. And I, apparently they didn't finish it or whatever. So he was super happy and he was all like, oh, I'm having so much fun staying staying here and stuff like that. Hope comes back, right? And Liam is like, uh, you're kind of missing a small human, small human being. Uh, <laughs> where, where, where is he? And, you know, he, he gets upset and he's like, yo, listen, you've been pulling this crap for a hot minute. And he's like, you know, at some point you need to sit there and kind of put your foot down and be like, you know, enough is enough. It's time for him to come back home. Now, when I was on the side, I was not there reading comes in the bottom. And some people were sitting there saying, oh, well, you know, um, Liam shouldn't be sitting there trying to force her to do something that she doesn't want or whatever. And I'm like, I think that's perfectly fine. I mean, granted, He's frustrated. He misses Douglas. Douglas isn't his child, but he loves him like he's his own child, you know, like he is his child. So he's like, yo, what's going on? It's like, you know, you got to put your foot down or whatever. Um, but then he, he realized how upset she is because she, she doesn't want to cause any friction. She doesn't, you know, he's having a really great time and he doesn't want to, she doesn't want to do anything to mess that up. And, and, um, you know, cause Doug and he's Douglas. Not not really so much pain, but just disappointment and not really spending time with her father. So she is doing what's best for Douglas. So you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, it's like Liam does kind of need to just back down a little bit. Same thing with Brooke. But I guess they didn't really know how she was feeling it right up until that moment. So I understood that. And of course, when um, Thomas comes downstairs, he's sitting there thinking about um, Pope. 
you know, like guess some sort of kiss that they had or whatever. He's like, oh man, I can't, can't do, I can't go back there. Like she's a married woman, and so now we're doing this again. <laughs> I say this again because I do remember them being a thing for a while. Um, and granted, this was before I started watching it, and you know, that back then when he was like shaved and everything like that. <sighs> I just, I don't know. Sometimes this, this show can be kind of interesting. Because not that long ago, he wanted to be with Paris. And Paris at the time was like, no, I, I, got, a, I got a serious boyfriend. Like, that's just not going to happen. And then when Zende wanted to propose to her and wanted to marry her, she was like, oh, I'm not really looking for anything serious. I just want to keep things casual. We could sit there and date other people. Like, what? They, they, and it just kind of reminds me just how, how, how poorly written Paris was, you know, to sit there and tell Douglas, I mean, to tell Thomas, nah, I got a serious boyfriend, to telling Zende, nah, I want to keep things casual, let's see other people. And then what she does, she winds up going out with a guy who is at, at one point into her, and next, well, he's bored of her, and he wants to be back together with Quentin. Ah, I wonder what they're going to do with that whole situation. I'm like, my guy Carter wants to work. You know, we're not, we're not pulling a Ben and Sierra situation where he just magically go off somewhere. No, no, that, that dude needs to be here. He needs to be... Well, let's be honest. I don't think that this guy can actually play anybody else except for Carter Walters, I guess. Um, you know, at least with Alex, he dresses different. His hair is different. Um, he even speaks a little bit different when you really think about it. So I wonder what they're going to do with Carter and... Um, well, what they're going to do with Carter since uh, Quinn is not there unless they recast her. Which I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like it. And I get it. Some people, like there's fans and then there's fanatics. Fanatics are the people that I'll get on there and start yelling and cursing. Well, not yelling and cursing. Start cursing and, and whatever they write, you can just tell how angry they are. Like people sit there and say to some extent, you can't see emotions through text. But there's a lot of times you can um, hmm. I feel like that's about it, or at least all the pertinent information I can sit there and think of at the time. Um, questioning should I watch Y and R or many little things? I feel like at this point I gotta get the app to Hulu on my phone so I can continue watching this because. <sighs> There's so many other shows that I want to sit down and watch. And my thing is, when I start watching a show, I want to watch it straight through. I don't like sitting up there watching something and then stop and watching something else and going back to that. It's like, by the time I do all that, I could have just finished watching it and just been done with it. I don't know how people do that. It's the same thing with books. I don't know how people do that. Start reading something and go something else. So, like, I'm trying to add as little as possible on my phone. Um, but at this point, I'm like, well, I'm going to have to add the Hulu app. Especially if I watch y and tonight. I don't know if I'm going to do a review on it, but um, just for the sakes of keeping up, I might do it. I don't know. <sighs> at some point, I do want to watch it. Though. That's 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 definitely what I want to watch it. I do want to do another review. Though. That's another review at some point on it. But um, with that being said, I think that's about it. Um, thank you for watching. Be safe. Live stream. It's going to be on Sunday, 6 o'clock, unless for some odd reason that day just decided to change my hours. Um, but I will sit there and write in a post and let people know. But um, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe. And I'll see you in the next video.